Hello everyone! We are back again this week from our Coastal Seafoods Test Kitchen and we are going to rock and roll some shrimp today. So hopefully uh, you'll all tune in, uh, get your questions ready, we've got some cool things to cover and talk about, got some good features going on this weekend that we're going to cover. Um, but by and large, one of the things we're going to focus mostly on are these. These are beautiful Texas brown shrimp, and we have these on feature this week for $17.99 a pound, and they are delicious. This is a really great uh, Texas wild caught shrimp. So again, I'm just gonna give people a few minutes to kind of log in and get with us. So if you have questions, like I said, get those ready. Um, some other cool things to talk about. Some of you may have noticed that classes are back. Um, we are filled uh, we've got a full schedule for January, February, and March all available online. So if you're looking for tickets for our classes, now is definitely the time to sign up. Uh, they've been up now for a couple of days and we've already had a lot of people signing up already. Absolutely great gift uh, for people. Um, you can either just you know buy them a class online directly through coastalseafoods.com or you can come into the store, you can buy a gift card for them, and then they can use that to redeem for a class as well. Um, we've got sushi, we've got Spanish tapas, we've got date night, we've got oysters, and we've also got a brand new class that we're gonna try out. We're really excited for, uh, we're calling Asian Flavors. Uh, and we're really gonna go over a lot of the different Asian products that we carry, a lot of the different uh, high-end shoyus and fish sauces, and. We've got so many cool things that we want to show you uh, how to work with. Uh, so we figured we'd just kind of do a class and, and go from there. So if you're interested, definitely sign up for that. I think that's going to be a new hot one. Otherwise, all of our classic classes are really good. Date night's a newer one. Tapas is a newer one. If you're interested in either of those things, definitely check that out as well. So it looks like we've got some people with us. And when we're talking about uh, holiday gifts and things like that, we've got all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, available that you can check out. Um, you may have seen the Coastal Seafoods hats are in and back for the year. The 2020 hats, they're green and yellow. Uh, I was wearing one in our last video. Um, they are available at both stores. They are $20 each and they are very limited. Uh, once they're gone, they are gone. So if you're interested in that, either for yourself or as for a gift, I know they're very, very popular around town. Uh, those are available. We've also got ones like I'm wearing here available. Um, you can come and check those out. Uh, it's the same price, again, makes a great gift. Super cool. Um, you know, again, we've got some other things too. Uh, we've got our line of toadfish knives and kitchen utensils that are great. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna show you how to use that today. Um, the toadfish oyster knives are awesome. Those are like $30 a piece, but then we sell these uh, packs. Uh, it's a gift box, it comes with an oyster knife, it comes with a crab uh, tool, and it also comes with the, one of these nifty uh, shrimp peel and deveiners. This is really pretty slick. Um, I just did a bunch of shrimp with these uh, just a few minutes ago, and it goes very, very fast, and it seems like a good way to kind of break in to these, which are a nice, this is a U15 Texas Brown. Again, really, really nice, beautiful domestic shrimp. Um, and to use this, all you do is you take your shrimp, shell on fully, and you take the little, the little hook and you place it into the shrimp and it's got a little blade that's gonna cut up the back of the shell and it basically just kind of moves it away, pulls out just like that. So now we've got a shrimp that has been nicely split open and the shell will just completely peel away like so. Again, takes seconds to do, very, very easy. And then it also exposes that vein in the back. So you can go ahead and just kind of remove that piece of cake. No problem. And now we've got a bunch of peeled and deveined shrimp. So very cool, very easy to do. Um, another thing that we've had back, uh, that we just got in this week, which we've had amazing response for, are the line of secret aardvark sauces. I can kind of show these to you. Uh, for those not familiar with secret aardvark, this is a huge deal in Portland, uh, Portland, Oregon. 
It's a sauce that's made out there. It's everywhere out there. So really good. Um, again, we got the whole line. We've got the red. This is the classic, the habanero sauce. This is probably the most popular one by far. And then there's this really great green sauce, which is a serrano and habanero sauce. Really, really, really good. And then we've got these two uh, marinades. It's a drunken jerk marinade and a black bean sauce. Both really, really tasty. Uh, today we're actually gonna use the jerk. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the shrimp that we just peeled and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to spritz this down with this. Now normally what I would do is probably let this sit and marinate for half an hour to an hour. Not too long, just a little bit, a few minutes worth. Give these a toss. But this stuff is so flavorful that it really doesn't take a lot of time. So again, I'm just gonna give this a little toss in this secret aardvark jerk, and you can smell it. It just smells outrageously good. I've got my hot pan here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of vegetable oil. And then I'm gonna take my shrimp. I'm just gonna kind of add them to my pan. And you can hear that sizzle and that pop. That's exactly what we want. Really nice. And again, you're getting that, the smell of that jerk seasoning is fantastic. Really, really nice. We're just gonna layer these around the pan, kind of in a clockwise motion so that we know which shrimp we put down first. There we are. We're just gonna let that kind of sit and do its thing for a hot minute. Again, these are great shrimp, super, super beautiful. Um, again, it's a U15, so it's a large shrimp. Uh, really good for lots of different things, stir frying pastas, um, you could make a pretty great shrimp cocktail with it if you were so inclined. Um, really good. And again, uh, when you use one of these coat fish uh, shrimp peel into banners, it goes really, really, really quickly. I know a couple weeks ago we had talked about um, cooking shrimp shell on for that all that additional flavor, which I do absolutely recommend that you do, um, if at all possible. Um, but you can always start it with these. You can use this to kind of Split that shell and then cook it and then remove the shell once it's done. But I know a lot of people don't want to cook with the shell on. So again, this is a pretty handy tool. This comes in a set with one of the oyster knives, which the oyster knives are great, work really, really well. And the crab utility tool. Definitely worth getting. Uh, it's 90 bucks for the set. Um, and all proceeds from Toadfish actually go to help restore natural oyster beds. So it's a really great company doing a lot of really cool stuff. Highly recommend checking it out. Come into the store. One of the team members will happily talk to you about it. All right, so it looks like we're doing pretty good here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start flipping. Now this is the kind of thing you could just go ahead and cook up like this real, real fast and serve this over a bed of rice with maybe some grilled vegetables. You could also use some of the jerk seasoning on the vegetables. That would be really, really, really nice. Um, but you're gonna have a really nice, quick dinner. Again, the shrimp cook up doesn't take very long. Goes real fast. We're not flipping them too much. We're just kind of letting them cook and sear and do their thing. And I'm gonna grab a little plate that I can put these on once they are done. And these secret aardvark sauces are super, super nice. Again, like if you were to use this, uh, the drunken garlic black bean sauce, you could do basically the same thing, but I would add my shrimp to like a bowl with some chopped vegetables. You could use some broccoli or some asparagus, whatever, and then toss to coat with the black bean sauce and just stir fry it all together in one pot, dump it over rice, and you've got a really, 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 really nice dinner. Um, again, the secret aardvark sauce, is awesome. The response that you all have given online to it is huge, so clearly you know what it is. Um, it's just a lot of fun. It's a good sauce. Again, it's it's a Portland thing. We know it's not necessarily you know, our local Minneapolis thing, but we have lots of local hot sauces too. These are just really fun and really cool to have on hand. And like I said, I've gotten a lot of, a lot of good responses from people on that. So definitely, if you're interested, you know what Secret Aardvark is, Come on in, check it out. 
Um, we've got plenty of it right now. Um, it is currently only in our Minneapolis store, um, but we are working on it. So definitely check back with us there. So in addition to these shrimp, well, I let these kind of finish out and do their thing. Uh, we've also got some really beautiful um, Icelandic cod loin in-house this week. Uh, really good stuff. Um, $15.99 a pound. And I couldn't, it's a great weekend to do some like fish and chips, something like that. Um, super awesome. So if you're interested, we've actually got a really cool fish and chips recipe up on our website, coastalseafoods.com. There is an accompaniment video that goes with it. So uh, it kind of shows you a little bit of the ins and outs of that. Um, so if you're interested, absolutely check that out. Um, uh, it's just it's a good weekend to do some fried fish. What can I say? Uh, but is it ever really a bad weekend to do some fried fish? Uh, yeah, so we've got the shrimp, we've got the cod, we've also got whole New Zealand sea bream in, which is a great whole fish option. If you wanted to do some like whole roasted fish, it's a, it's a great one for that. Um, just beautiful, kind of light, flaky, exactly what you want. Throw some, just some lemons and some herbs inside the fish, throw it in a hot oven, just kind of roast it off be really nice. It would also work really well if you've ever done a salt crust on a fish. Um, if you've not, I highly recommend looking it up. Uh, maybe we'll show you kind of how to do that one of these days. Uh, it's actually very, very easy, um, but the result is beautiful. It's some of the most juicy fish you could probably ever have. Really super delicious. Um, so they'd be great for doing that salt crust with. Or if you wanted to bust out the grill and, and do it Minnesota style, grill out in the, in the cold, Perfect for the grill too. I've done a lot of grilled, grilled sea bream, super delicious. Um, holidays are coming up, lots of stuff to talk about there. Um, now is the time to start looking at getting your pre-orders in. Um, we're working on some platters and stuff today. Um, remember we do our shrimp platter, we've got our salmon platter, we've got our smoked fish platters, um, lots of different stuff and we'll have some more information coming up on that soon. Uh, so pay attention for those if you're looking to get the get your party platter on. Uh, we've also got, uh, of course, uh, all kinds of we'll have all kinds of cool specials and features coming up in addition to our weekly features that we always do. Um, so that's another thing you're going to want to pay attention for. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention is that the garage sale, last week's garage sale, as you may have seen, wound up getting postponed because of the weather. It was really bad and really icy, and we didn't want you kind of coming out and risking that. We were gonna postpone to this weekend, um, but we're not gonna do that. We're actually going to move it into January. January 4th is the date, so mark your calendar. We've got some big announcements behind that, but you're gonna have to pay attention for that because that's gonna be, that'll come. Um, but we're doing something really cool this time and we want you to kind of be in the loop on that. Um, there's some last minute changes and, and things, so. We are really looking forward to that. Again, we will put up some more information. I'll put the event page back up um, and get rolling there. Uh, otherwise, that's kind of what we got. Uh, we've got our shrimp, so I'm gonna go ahead and just remove these from the pan. Let's kind of show you what we're looking at here. So this is kind of our end result. You see that nice, that sauce kind of caramelized on there. Let me walk over here and kind of show you. Let me show Instagram here. See, it looks pretty nice, beautiful. This aardvark jerk sauce, really good stuff. Highly recommend, very, very cool. Again, serve this over rice, and this is the sauce so you can see. Serve this over rice and some grilled vegetables and you are good to go. So that's what we got. We got all kinds of stuff for holiday gifts, gift cards hats, tools, oyster knives, shrimp peelers. Come on in, check it all out. Um, obviously specials, shrimp, cod, uh, shrimp is $17.99, cod is $15.99, um, sea bream $11.99 for the whole fish. So definitely come check that stuff out. If you have questions, definitely hit us up. Uh, if you haven't checked out the Facebook giveaway yet, please do so. We'll be giving away one of these secret aardvark sauces along with a pound of this shrimp. Uh, so for all you Instagrammers, head over to our Facebook page, check that. Like, comment, share, you know the drill. Um, Facebook people, if you haven't checked out that thread yet, definitely find it. 
definitely do it. It's worth it. Um, yeah. So that's what we got for now. If you have questions, hit us up. We're always uh, willing to help. Um, holiday orders, if you know what you want, get in, call, place those. And uh, otherwise, we will talk to you all next week. Thank you very much for hanging out. I will see you soon.